Alrighty, so I'm coming at you with an extremely exciting construction update. It has finally happened. The lift hill is starting and it is finished. Well, okay, that was a little bit of an exaggeration there. The first piece is finished. Um, and I also want to let you guys know I am definitely doing my research on terminology and uh, how things work because it seems to be requested by a lot of the hardcore enthusiasts and I want to be doing these construction updates for everyone. So to start it off, um, you see two cranes here. You see a dark yellow one and then you see the lighter yellow one. The dark yellow one is what's called a 620 ton crane and that is what's lifting the lift hill in place. So this crane is responsible for all the heavy lifting, which actually surprised me as the bigger crane, the slightly bigger crane right there, looked like it would have been from the more heavy lifting um, parts of the coaster, but it's actually not. So that taller, um, lighter yellow one that isn't being used in this shot is actually a 275 ton crane. So um, it looks like, you know, this heavy duty crane right in front of us, the 620 ton crane will be doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the coaster. And uh, as you can see here, and later on in my footage, it is doing all the heavy lifting on its own. Um, I also wanna point out that if you look closely, every little bit of um, detail for the lift hill is installed. They pre-installed the staircase and the netting um, and the supports for the staircase and the funlicker, funlicker. Um, that's the name of the elevator shaft going up the, uh, the, the coaster. Um, and then what this crane does and how it's able to lift one piece of track is actually called chain falls. So the chain falls hold the track piece at a specific elevation. So as you see here, the track piece is already at the exact elevation it needs to be, 47 degrees, for quick and easy install. So the chain falls are attached to the, the, the other side of the lift hill and it helps keep the track perfectly at 47 degrees. So as they slowly move this piece on over, it's essentially like Lego and fits in perfectly to the support structure. So that's a V frame support structure. The next one going in will be an A frame. So it'll connect just to the V frame and obviously the pre lift down below. And as you see near the end of this footage, it does that perfectly. Um, my drone battery did die right before it was almost perfectly aligned, but the drone got the footage up to the point where it was pretty much perfectly aligned and you got the picture of what it's going to look like. Um, we are going to be on construction site tomorrow with a behind the scenes hard hat tour. Thanks to Canada's Wonderland. I am so excited for that. Um, and we have a very large camera crew coming with us to get some really high definition shots of the construction site. So we have three people, high definition cameras going rolling, zooming in, getting every ounce of detail of this construction site for you guys. Um, we're also going to have some, we're going to ask some questions. So right now is the time. If you have a question, you want us to ask the park tomorrow about the construction project, nothing else about the future or other rides in the park, just about Yukon Striker, comment down below. We will ask as many good questions um, that can be answered by a construction project manager. Uh, for you guys and have them in the video that we release tomorrow night or potentially um, Friday morning whenever we get that edited and ready. But yeah, super excited about that. Not too much else to report on. No new track has arrived. They have the next set of lift hill pieces assembled and they'll probably start attaching the netting and support structure for the staircase and fume liquor. Again, I do not know how to pronounce that name properly, but I'm getting the terminology correct at least. <laughs> um, if you actually look off in the distance, it's a little harder to see because it's a gray um, crane. Um, so they have a drill crane right off in the distance there near Timberwolf where they've demolished and bulldozed that path. They are starting to drill footers. If you remember my footage from the other day, they already have the rebar cages ready for the footings. Sorry, the correct word is footings, not footers. It is just muscle memory when I say footer. So again, whenever you're looking at a footer, it is actually a footing is the proper terminology. 
So they are digging and getting ready um, to pour the footings for Yukon Striker. So that is definitely the turnaround area over there. And um, yeah, this coaster is progressing quickly. Um, that's essentially all that is going on in the park that I know of at the moment and that I've seen. So again, you have the 620 ton crane um, lifting the first actual 47 degree angled two piece lift structure into place. Um, and you have footings being dug up behind near Timberwolf Falls, the um, 275 ton crane is not being used yet. That'll probably um, help with the top of the lift hill. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see what that's exactly meant for, but I'm being told um, or hearing that um, this is the crane that they're going to be using for a lot of the coaster project as what I read online is this is a heavy duty crane that you're seeing being used. It's again, it's 620 ton. Um, but yeah, that's essentially all that's going on today. You're definitely going to want to continue to watch the footage because you're going to see the lift hill piece lifted into place. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see again, this is a great shot of the chain falls and the angle that it's being held at and how they assemble it. It's going to be tilted a little better now. Um, that's actually what they're working on. You can see it. So if you look really closely, it's being angled to the 47 degree angle, but the chain falls hold it at that exact angle that it needs to be to installed. So um, not much else other than that. Again, you're probably going to see tomorrow when we're doing our construction update, I'm guessing you're going to see the A-frame um, being worked on and then installed. And then on Friday, they'll probably lift that um, second piece of lift hill, which um, again, you're what you're looking at right now. Sorry, I left this out is a 120 foot long lift hill piece that's being installed. So each piece is 60 feet long and that's two of them right there attached. So that's 120 foot worth of track being installed. Again, that's 120 foot worth. Doesn't mean it's 120 feet high because it's angled at 47 degrees, but it's 120 feet worth of track. Um, it is really high though because of the 47 degree angle. Uh, you can see it from the highway. You can see it from even just like parked around the park anywhere. Um, so it's really cool to see that. So if you live near driving by Wonderland, you're going to get a really good shot of um, or a good view of Yukon Striker already. It is peaked over the park skyline already. If you're driving on the highway, you will see it. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. As usual, comment down below what you guys think and any questions you want me to ask the park. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Thank you.